Something else that excites me too is watching the inauguration mm -hmm. and uh, Amanda Gorman just completely blew me away and um, just how she spoke and you know the the way that she you know she she recognized that the country was in pain and that we've come in a long way but we still have a lot a lot to go um, and she had that platform and the fact that she was a, such a young lady um, you know African-American descent mm -hmm. and she had that and she had that voice and she spoke so beautifully um, it made me so excited for the future mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe excited to have kids and, and for them to look up to someone like that. And there's so many other young young people that are changing the narrative mm -hmm. of, of this country and of the future of this country. So you said excitement and I was like, I'm excited too. <laughs> and you told me that was the highlight of the whole inauguration. Yeah. Hands, it was hands down, I think, the highlight of the inauguration. It was such a moment of hope, I felt like, mm -hmm. when you're watching. It's such an American historical moment to watch every time a new president, the fact that there's an exchange of powers, mm -hmm. um, the fact that that doesn't happen anywhere else. But then you had this like young, black, amazing poet just steal the show from everyone. Mm -hmm. from every, and no one knew who she was. Mm -hmm. And then oh, I watched, because I started following her at like 80,000 followers, and then the next day she had like 2.5 million, and her book's the number one bestseller. And I was like, this is finally a good story of like hope mm -hmm. in the country isn't it so positive and then she like my she posted the photo with her and michelle obama and she posted deceased and i was like <laughs> she wasn't she's not like a superstar she's no. just like a real young yeah. girl like just being young and mm -hmm. being funny and like making fun of little things on instagram and it was just really cool to watch but i do think that 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 culture is so driven by black culture even just american culture that, and we were talking about this kind of in the green room that like is it exploitative to only be a part of black culture but not actually engage in black relationships and, and intercultural relationships and are we doing our part as like a diverse nation to like fully integrate on every level mm -hmm. and we were talking about is, is talking about this even exploitative about the conversation you said what you said <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think I think uh... This is this is this is this type of space. These are the type of conversations we need to have and address it like head on. Right. Like and and the fact is is that um, yes, there are you know little white teenagers that in suburbia that are listening to say hip hop or or, or, or taking their cues from mm -hmm. from black culture, but they their world has nothing and they've never experienced it. I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm just saying that we have to be able to identify it and just address it and how do we navigate that you right. know how do how do they learn how to navigate it um growing up and 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 being how do they learn how to be around people that are different than them mm -hmm. you know um and so i think it's just there is a sometimes i think there's a defense mechanism a need to protect black culture from people exploiting it because of the exploitation that black people have experienced in in the united states but I think when we realize the power of black culture, then it's like, okay, you take a stance that um, what we have to offer is actually so powerful. And then you have to like have some self-worth in it and identify that, okay, yeah, there's a reason why everybody is like taking cues from black culture. Right. And, and actually maybe shift it and be confident in that and be, be like, all right, cool. I'm gonna let that be a sense of pride or a sense of, of self-worth. Watch it live on Hillsong Channel or head to hillsongchannelnow.com slash McManus to watch it now.